Well, you have to be living under a rock if you haven't seen this latest wig from Gabor from their luxury series. She's called Own the Room. Now, I haven't seen anyone who has reviewed her yet in this gorgeous, gorgeous shade of silver. It's called Arctic White. And if you're seeing a lot of white glare, that's because this wig has a lot of white in her, but she's also got that beautiful mix of white and gray. She's got a lace front, a partial mono top. She parts to the left. Very, very comfortable on my head, which I don't say that often. Right out of the box, this is how she looks. Uh, she takes just a tiny bit of however you want to frame her on your face. I hit her with some holding spray because this part here will tend to drop down somewhat, but I'm used to that. I've worn my hair like that for years, but if you're looking for that elusive, beautiful, silvery, white, gray, but not costume white, you're looking for that gorgeous, gorgeous gray, everyone, this is it. This Arctic white is, in my opinion, a winner. I'm going to do a full review of this coming up. I love this wig so much that I bought it in two silver colors. I also have her in 5660, just the regular silver without a lot of white added in. So, here's how, she, how, how she's going to come to you. Of course, with tissue paper. Very well protected with the netting. Remove the netting. Now, I used to think that this was my absolute favorite color, this 5660. But because of the fact that I'm getting whiter and whiter, I'm now gravitating to things with more white. But the, this one, perfect marriage of, uh, in my opinion, of gray and white. Now, here is the 5660. from Gabor. Also gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. But you can hopefully see the difference. This one here, it's hard to tell in the monitor. She's a little more ashy, let's say, than this one that's on my head. Both of these colors are absolutely gorgeous. I would wear either one of them. And I also saw uh, Marlene over at uh, Wig Studio One. She did a review. Let me bring up my... She did a review. It was a short, actually. In the... I think it's called Sugared Licorice. Beautiful. So, everyone is reviewing this wig, and you can see why. Now, normally I would put some It Stays right at the top of my hairline here, but I'm going to be batch recording today, so I'm not going to put anything underneath to hold my wig. But if I was going out, I would definitely, I would have to, because everything rides back on me and I don't wear a wig grip, but I would just pop a little bit of uh, It Stays there up that hairline um, and fix it just perfectly. My main objective today is to show you this gorgeous, gorgeous wig. She reminds me very much of Elle by Jean Reno. The way she's styled if you're new to wearing wigs, if you like a lot of white but you don't want it to be costumey, this is your color. This is your color. Now, Own the Room comes in a few gray colors. It comes in the 5660 silver. See my mouse over on the left moving? And then she comes in that new color, the 561001 Arctic White. This wig right now is, is under $300 over at Wig Studio One. And... Um, Keep your eyes on 
Wig Studio One, quite often they have flash sales so that you get 30% off of whatever that wig is that you're that you're wanting to buy. Now I could train this, you know, uh, if I wanted to and just use a dry a hair dryer so that this part stays, but so far I'm happy with it. All I did was use a little bit of uh, holding spray and it's it's pretty much staying put. Love this wig. Let's talk about a little bit of the specifications. First of all, you can see that she it has long layers. She's a mid-length cut. Let me go full screen for you. So she's a mid-length cut. Absolutely ageless. Ageless. Any age could wear this. Even if you're 80, 90, if you don't want it that long, pull it back. Pull it. I believe anybody could wear this wig. Any age. Just want to see what the back looks like. Beautiful in the back. Beautifully layered. My hair is exactly this length right now. Exactly this length. So you can see, uh, beautifully done in the back. That extended lace front is going to let you wear the wig half up, half down, re very realistic, brush it away from your face. Just beautiful from Gabor's designer series. So the size is average. Um, as I said, it does have the extended mono part. It's got a small part where it gives you a little bit of wiggle room if you don't want to part it right where they have it. It has the extended lace front, has a comfort cap. It really is comfortable, everyone. Uh, the front is nine inches. Now, I haven't measured this myself. I'm reading from the specifications, but the front is nine inches. The crown down 11 inches. The nape down is eight and a half inches. The side lengths are 10 and a half and the back 11 and a half and she weighs 4.6 ounces. The density, it, it's not too much hair. It's very believable hair. It just looks like you have the most beautiful hair. Believable. Um, but I do like the way I'm able to push this part back. I love that. We've talked about the color. We've talked about the the style. Um, let's see if I wanted to pull it back a little bit. I think I have a clip here. You can always, always wear it with your square hair bands. We love those. As we have said countless times, Put a put a hairband on your head. Nobody's ever going to believe that you have a wig on. Nobody. These square hairbands I will link below. You've probably heard them heard of them by now. They go on just like a pair of sunglasses. They do not hurt. They've got little teeth that will not hurt the wig, but they they help secure that wig if you're feeling a little bit insecure. Um, and I've got glasses on, so I've got glasses and sunglasses, and this wig is doing just fine, right? So you could wear it like that. I also took some pictures from the outside. I went outside earlier today before we lost our son, and um, but you could do it like that. You could pull her to one side with a clip. Something like that. Now listen, I know we've got this to deal with right there. Don't worry about it. All you have to do is just pull that part down a little bit like that. Or you could pull out some of your own bio hair if you have white hair. I have white hair. I am absolutely sure I'll be pulling out some of that side bio hair. I wanted to say a word here about this lace front. On my head, I have it kind of pushed back, so it's not laying quite as flat as it would as you're seeing in this lace front. But if you want that flat look on the top of your head, that is absolutely doable. And I didn't realize until after I looked at the footage that I hadn't shown you the lace front, just kind of parted the way it came from the factory. So that's how it looks. They're a little tiny bit short to get all the way in the back. 
and they don't really have the proper clip. Let me see if I have another clip here. Uh, let's see how that looks. Okay, so here they are. This is the Arctic White on my head and the 5660 in my hand. Now let me take the clip out. You can see a little bit more of the hair. Both gorgeous. It just depends upon how much white you want to see in your hair. Both, both gorgeous. So yeah, I think it's easy to say that you're going to own the room <laughs> if you buy this wig. Absolutely a stunner, a stunner. She looks great on every single person I've seen review her. And I think I've seen probably 10 reviews by this time. Maybe you have too. If you haven't, I'm so glad that you visited me today. Thanks so much for watching. And always remember... Look for the silver linings, everyone, because they're always there. See you next time. Bye-bye.